This is the Kraft Model 2 monophonic wavetable synth by Modal in the UK. Version 1 had a quite plain exposed PCB design, but this one's much more sophisticated. Let's do a quick unboxing and have a look. <laughs> have the tiny unit itself, even smaller than the old stylophone, and a quick start guide showing you how to do installation of AA batteries. On the back of the quick start guide you have this table of shift modes, and on the back of the machine itself, a bit surprisingly, full size MIDI in and out sockets, as well as sync in and out and an audio line out on mini jack, headphones line out on mini jack and a mini USB socket. You can see the volume adjustment shows you a level on the LED ladder within the mini keys and the first sound that comes up is this quite complex one <laughs> Talk about instant gratification. Now, Modal has a whole line of synthesizers. Above the Kraft, there's the Sculpt, which is polyphonic, and then their upmarket full scale synthesizers. So, the technology has come down into the Kraft. It's a digital waveform synthesizer with quite sophisticated sounds. <laughs> So the sounds aren't simplified at all. Let's have a listen to a few more. To get a new sound you simply hold the preset button and one of the eight keys. of sounds simply hold preset and plus we'll listen to some sounds in the second bank Because of the touch keyboard you can do these effects of sliding up and down notes that all puts you in mind of the old EDP wasp and indeed the modern Arturia micro freak which also has a, a touch keyboard but the compactness of a craft and its Ability to work off batteries without an external power supply is quite unusual. And as you can hear, it has an arpeggiator as well, so you can get quite complex patterns. Let's open and close the filter a bit and adjust the resonance as we're playing that. So as you can hear quite analog style sounds as you adjust the filter. The arpeggiator happily doesn't need a shift function, it simply switches on and off with this button ARP Seek. <laughs> And you 
can tap in your own step time arpeggiator patterns too. You can get big pad type sounds on the craft which makes it sound more polyphonic than it is. And of course you might feel one good use for it is as a bass line synth. Making up your own sounds and saving them away is easy enough. In shift mode all the blue labelled functions apply, including the detuning between oscillators. You have distortion level among others and all the different types of modulation are explained on the patching sheet. You have patching for modulation by two independent LFOs and you can turn up facilities like Glide. As you can hear there's a lot of built-in delay on that sound so you do have good effects which helps to thicken out the sounds and textures. So you can get some quite unusual abstract textures out of the craft. But if you want to play more conventional sounds, that's all there too. The Craft 2 sells for just £127, which is not much more than the cost of a single high-end oscillator in euro rack terms, and for that you're getting a complete monophonic synthesizer which with its arpeggiator and detuning and effects often sounds like it's doing a lot more than playing monophonically. Certainly useful for musicians making experimental textures perhaps tied into a euro rack system. Plenty of synchronization options to tie in the arpeggiator and the LFOs to external MIDI and the option of going for more conventional sounds and getting nice heavy bass lines which are easy to edit. If you want to get into making your own sounds more deeply, there's an app available which allows you to choose more modulation destinations for the LFOs and so on. So that's the Craft 2 by Modal, a fantastically good value compact synthesizer, which sounds like it's doing a lot more than its monophonic playing ability. And it certainly makes me want to look at the polyphonic sculpt, which is a bit larger, and at Modal's larger, more upmarket synthesizers.